Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a kawaii sloth using polymer clay. I think this is probably one of my favourite charms I've made, so I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. So to begin, take the brown clay that you would like to use for the main colour of your sloth and roll a piece into a ball for the head. Next up, take a tan coloured piece of clay and flatten this down onto your work surface so it's kind of an oval shape. Next, make a little indent in the top centre of this clay and then use your blade to trim it out on an angle so you have this very rough kind of love heart looking shape, I guess you could call it. Then just add this onto the front of the head and this is where we'll be putting the face. For the little bits of fur on top, I rolled two small teardrops with the brown clay and positioned these together and then I trimmed them off on an angle with my blade so that I had a flat part. I then attached these to the top of the head and you can go ahead and blend these down with one of your tools so that they're nice and secure. Next up, take a different brown clay and again roll two teardrops and then flatten these down. Position these onto each side of the face where the eyes will be going. Now moving onto the face, create two indents where you would like the eyes to go and then add in two balls of black clay. For the mouth, add on two small U shapes made out of black clay and place them together between the eyes. Add a small ball of black clay for the nose and then you can also attach on some cheeks using two bits of pink clay. To create the body, take some more of your base brown colour and roll it into a cone on your work surface so that it has a flat bottom. Use a blade to trim off the top part and then connect the body onto the head and blend them together. Next up, I'm going to be making the tree branch that the sloth is holding on to. So I took another shade of brown, this one is slightly darker than all the others, and I rolled it on my work surface and trimmed it to size. I then did a similar thing with a smaller branch and then I connected this to the side of the larger branch. Then go ahead and position this onto the front of the body. Next, you'll want to make the arms and the legs. So begin with four even balls of the brown clay and roll each of them kind of into a log shape. Next, position these onto the body so that they are each touching the branch. You'll notice on the right side of my charm that the arm actually started pushing the branch because there wasn't enough room on that side. So I actually took it off and just trimmed it down. So that's what you can see here. To make the leaves, take some green clay and shape them by pinching one side and then adding an indent with your needle tool straight down the middle. Then add these onto the branch where you would like them. Finally, we need to add the little claws to each of the feet. So I just took some tiny strips of vanilla colored clay and carefully added three onto each foot so that they are wrapped around the branch. Add a little tail to the back of the body and then you can go ahead and add an eye pin if you would like to make it into a charm. Then bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I used some super glue to help secure the eye pin so that it wouldn't fall out. And I also added some UV resin as my glaze for extra protection and shine. And there you have it. This is what my finished kawaii sloth charm looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.